Hello, folks. So if you are a .NET developer who loves to use Blazor to build modern web applications, you can now bring the same code, same skills towards building native mobile and desktop applications. And there's a lot of help on the UI front. Let's take a look how. OK, so hopefully by now, you have heard about the promise of .NET MAUI, .NET multi-platform app UI. It's the evolution of cross-platform .NET development targeting mobile and desktop devices. Um, so the promise is pretty you know, clear. You have a single shared code base from where you can build apps for multiple platforms. And you know, your assets, your uh, .NET code is really shared between mobile and desktop. Uh, so, but this is all a very native story. You have full platform API access. However, uh, you know, folks who are building web applications like yourself with Blazor, uh, they are maybe bigger fans of Microsoft's Blazor framework, which is for all things you know, modern app development um, with either server side or client side. And Blazor as a web framework is wonderful in its rendering and in how it does things. So you can run things completely server side or completely client side with uh, WebAssembly. So there's a lot of goodness here and uh, hopefully you're using Blazor to build your modern web applications, uh, you know, be it uh, full on for web uh, browsers, uh, desktop or mobile, uh, or, you know, um, or maybe even like progressive web apps. So there's a lot of help on the Blazor front, especially if you're doing Blazor. Uh, we try to help out a little bit. Uh, so this is uh, Telerik uh, UI, and you can see all of the things we do to make .NET developers a little bit more productive across web, desktop, and mobile platforms. And if you're building web apps, uh, you're likely uh, looking at uh, Telerik UI for Blazor to kind of elevate and um, you know level up your UI game. So you know 150 plus. Uh, Blazor UI components all across, you know, data management and visualizations, lots and lots of inputs and, uh, you know, interactive UI UX and layout controls. This is, you know, four plus years of engineering and it's all production ready. We have lots and lots of, you know, people and success stories with Blazor uh, running modern web apps. But that's all for the web. And now you hear about .NET and Mavi, can we put those things together? And the answer is yes. So uh, if you start with .NET and Mavi, and maybe you don't want to do uh, XAML and C Sharp, Blazor is where you are at, and you want to share some code that's you know, rendering stuff fine for you know, web UI, but also bring that same UI to uh, native mobile and desktop apps. So start with the docs and you will see once you drill down with uh, the .NET and Maui uh, you know, docs, eventually you're gonna land on this page here, which talks about Blazor Web View. So it's under user interface and presenting data and that's where you have Blazor Web View. So what is a Blazor Web View? It is a sophisticated piece of UI component, just like any other UI views that you have in .NET and Maui that lets you embed a modern web view component inside of your .NET MAUI apps. And the web view component is smart to give you the corresponding web you know, browser component based on whether you're running that app on iOS, Android, Windows, or Mac. You get the corresponding web view component. You can do a little bit of JavaScript and you can do styles. So it's a smart uh, web view component. And this lets you really bring in uh, all of your Blazor UI and just render them inside of .NET Mavi. So they kind of step you through exactly how you get started, uh, you know, with the project template and how you embed a Blazor Web View right inside of your XAML. That's all the XAML that you should you know, ever be wanting to see. If you don't want to do XAML, Blazor is uh, all it is. So they kind of step you through and you know, up and running you go. But one question you might have is, I see that Blazor is now welcome, but uh, what about my you know Blazor UI components? Uh, what if I'm using Telerik UI for Blazor? Well. Good news here, big, big good news. And it's uh, taking us a while, uh, you know, engineering wise uh, to make sure everything, all of the, you know, uh, dots and T's are crossed. And we, are, we can now officially say that all of Telerik Blazor UI, all of this that's squarely meant for web apps now works officially with support from us inside of .NET Maui apps. So that's a big news and it's going to help you light up uh, you know, your native mobile and desktop apps with Blazor UI. Uh, just bring in your web UI and just, you know, light up mobile experiences, desktop experiences. Let's take a look how.
So I'm going to pull up uh, my Visual Studio. Uh, I'm on a Mac here. This is VS for Mac, but uh, Visual Studio on Windows is going to be exactly the same. So the way you get started with Blazor Hybrid, you know, with or without Telerik UI, is pretty simple. Uh, you go with, uh, you know, file new project, and inside of a multi-platform app, hopefully you are seeing these templates. This is where uh, you get the .NET MAUI workloads or NuGet packages come in, and you want to start with the .NET MAUI Blazor application. This is what gives you that Blazor web view component built in and it also drops a few you know blazer components inside of your project so you can start you know lighting up your uh, you know mobile or desktop apps with blazer ui so start there so that's the project i have and once you do you will notice a couple of things here so if i look at my cs project one of the first things you'll notice is the project type now says sdk.razor this is important because this is setting up the project to be able to render uh, Razor components, which is exactly what Blazor uses. Beyond that, uh, you will have a main program.cs, which is how .NET MAUI apps are bootstrapped and start, and nothing new here. You're going to add this add MAUI Blazor web view. It's already there as part of the template, and off you go. And then you have uh, a folder here called pages. So this is all of your Blazor UI components and your uh, Razor uh, pages. They all live there. You also do have a www root, which is for your CSS or any other you know, static you know, assets. And all of this is web stuff, but now working inside of .NET MAUI. However, we want to up our UI game. We want to see Telerik Blazor uh, UI working inside of .NET MAUI apps. So how do you get that? First thing is I'm going to go into my you know, dependencies and I can you know, right click here, go to my NuGet packages. And I have a couple of feeds here. If I'm looking at uh, the Telerik feed, uh, this is all of the Telerik uh, NuGet packages all across for web, desktop, and mobile. Uh, and I can do a search here on um, Razor. And uh, eventually you can see uh, you know, lots of from, you know, different NuGet packages, but this one's the, the master one, Telerik UF for Blazor. Now keep in mind, this is squarely meant for web applications, but since you have a Razor type project, it doesn't actually stop you, it doesn't care. Uh, so that's the one I'm bringing in. I already have it here. So if I look at my iOS or Android or Mac at list, all of my dependencies have that NuGet package in here. It's already telling me that I have an older version I should probably upgrade, but that is Telerik UF for Blazor as a web NuGet package meant for web apps, but now welcome inside of .NET MAUI. So bring that in. Once I do that, all I have to do here is in my imports.razor, which is you know, the imports uh, directory for Blazor to kind of get everything that it needs to you know, kickstart your app. I'm going to add these two lines of code, which is pretty standard if you are doing any you know, Blazor um, web application with Telerik UI. You just add those two using statements. Now, one more thing to add here is in my MAUI program.cs, I have the Blazor web view for sure. But I'm going to add, um, you know, just inside of dependency injection, just the way the builder, the .NET generic host is kind of bootstrapped. I'm just going to add, add Telerik uh, Blazor. It's an extension method that essentially sets up Blazor to do a few things with the DOM. And it's pretty standard, again, if you're doing the web stuff. So you probably already have this uh, for your web assets. And then in my index HTML, which is the, you know, the bootstrapping, uh, you know, HTML DOM uh, page, which kind of lays out what your Blazor UI needs to be. Uh, this is the diff tag inside of which all of your Blazor uh, app is essentially rendered, in, in, you know, including all of your components and your navigation. Everything is right there. Uh, this uh, script line is important because this is how .NET uh, MAUI brings in Blazor Hybrid with a little bit of JavaScript if you wanted to do some interop between .NET and JavaScript. So you have that. Now, the only two things I'm adding here is a little bit of uh, you know, CSS and JavaScript just to bring in some styles that, you know, Telerik UI for Blazor uses. Again, Pretty standard stuff here. Once I have all of this, my main page.xaml, again, this is the only XAML that you ever have to see if you are doing Blazor inside of you know, Blazor Hybrid or .NET MAUI apps here. Uh, I have a content page here. It doesn't need to be that. Could be a tabbed page, could be something else. But essentially, uh, you need a placeholder so you can stick in this Blazor web view. And this Blazor web view, again, it's boilerplate code. All it's doing is you know, pointing to that index HTML and pointing to the first Blazor component, which happens to be the main.razor. And it you know, borrows a little bit of you know, layout from the main layout.razor page. Again, pretty standard boilerplate you know, uh, Blazor stuff. And up and running, you go. Now, let's take a look at my first page here, which is my index.razor. Again, by convention, that's the first page. Again, pretty standard stuff here. I have that, you know, at page directory, I have hello world. Uh, but with my references, with my dependencies, and with me setting up those things with, uh, you know, Telerik UI, I can now straight away jump in and 
start rendering Telerik Blazor UI components. How cool is that? Web UI now straight away rendered inside of .NET MAUI through Blazor Hybrid. So I have a button here. I have a barcode here. I have a calendar here. I have like a circular gauge. So think about everything that we had in uh, Telerik UI for Blazor. All of those, you know, polished and highly engineered and from it UI components. The grid. Uh, all of the charts and graphs, the schedulers, the calendars, they all just work. Uh, so I'm using some circular gauges here, and this is like a, you know, a card control. All of that is right there. So once I have set all of this up, I can simply run my project. So this is a .NET MAUI project. I can run this on Mac or Windows or, uh, you know, iOS or Android. And here you have it. It's so Mac desktop application in this case, but all of this UI, this is pretty standard, you know, the Hello World Blazor template that you get with .NET MAUI and Blazor. Uh, I have my counter components, I have my, you know, weather component, and in my home, which is actually index.razor, now you see that Telerik button, now you see that barcode, you see the calendar, you see that circular gauge, you see that card control. And I'm here to say that every piece of Blazor UI that you have from Telerik just works inside of .NET MAUI. Uh, through the magic of Blazor Hybrid and uh, the modern Blazor WebView component. And here's the good part. When you start using this inside of your desktop and mobile apps, let's say you run into issues. We are here to support you. This is now officially supported. It's taken us a while to make sure, again, everything is good to go. So you have a lot of confidence building uh, you know, native mobile and desktop applications, but with Blazor UI and all of your Blazor UI that you love from Telerik, uh, all of that now works. So. Hope you have a lot of fun building Blazor hybrid apps, you know, bring in web UI goodness inside of mobile and desktop applications. And we are here to enable your success. Thanks for watching.